Hi, I'm John from Banana Baby, and in this video, we are going to look at me assembling the Grow Time Richmond Cot. So the Richmond Cot is your traditional cot with the drop side. So to get started, the first thing we would do is open the box and take all the parts out, just to ensure that all the parts are there. So let's get started. Open the two boxes and remove all the parts. Just clear out space and make sure you have all the bolts and screws and the user guide. And let's get started. Okay, look, so the first thing we are going to do is we're going to do the drop side first. Because I believe with the drop side, this is where any cot with the drop side, if you put it in last, there's a higher chance that you will end up scratching the paint. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it in first, keep it in position, and then I'm going to... So I'm going to do the drop side first. Then I'm going to do the base and then I'm going to do the other side. Okay, so the first thing first, let's screw these into the ends. So what we have here is the ends. So I'm just going to squeeze that in. And squeeze this one as well. Now these are the uh, drop side screws, so to tighten these ones you can use a Phillips head screwdriver, but in this pack it does come with a Phillips head screwdriver. Probably easier to get a Phillips head screwdriver than using the, the one they supplied with it. Okay, I'm just going to get... Oh fine, I'm right handed, so let's do this. A little bit less. Now, one thing I like to do is I like to make it tight, but not too tight. Just you don't want to over tighten anything. Uh, another bit of advice. Just use hand tools, don't use power tools, okay? It, it, it's just better to use hand tools. So we did one side. Just put this out of the way first. Now I'm going to come and do this other one. Again, these are the drop side pins. Okay, cool. So the two drop side pins are in. So what are we going to do? This is the drop side panel. Make sure you get the front and the back correctly. Normally the front would be where the logo is, so that faces outwards. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is with the pins, the pins will go into the 
the rails, okay? So it's quite easy to do it when it's in this position. Very hard to do it when you don't have it in this position. So we normally go bottom. You would get the bottom in first. And then you get the top. Oops. So that's kind of locked in. So what I like to do at this stage, they have this pin here. This stops it from falling out again. So I'm just going to screw this one in. Then you don't have to do this one very tight. Just this just stops the pin from falling out. So that's it. Now this is locked in now. Okay, so sorry, this is locked in now, and I'm going to do the other side. The other side would be much easier to do now. Again, I'm just tightening this one to stop the um, the drop side. Uh, the pin coming out. Okay, so I'm in it. Remember, the, in Australia, there's two levels for mattress space. The upper level and the lower level. So I'm going to set this one at the higher level. So, so what I normally like to do is just pre-load these into the holes on the side. Oh, so now I'm going to grab this base and I am just going to do this. So this is a way to do it by yourself. So I'm just going to pin this one in to just loosely hold it onto the bottom one. This way it allows you, by doing this you can do this all by yourself. So with that, I'm actually able to lift the base all up. Now it's horizontal. All I have to do now is just tighten the screws. So all you need to do now is tighten the screws. And then the next part to do So I'm on to the end. So once you tighten all the base screws, all you need to do is the other end, you put it in. And to put that in again, all I like to do, I tend to like to preload these ones. It just makes life a lot easier to do. So the screws are all preloaded. All I need to do now is just align it to the hole, lightly turn it to get it in. Again, do it this way. So that 
that's it. I'm just going to tighten these screws, tighten this screw, and then uh, let's have a look at it once I finish all this. Okay, so remember, whenever you're building any furniture, don't over tighten the screws on one side and then just go around. So what you need to do is just lightly screw all sides and then once all of them is in, and then I'm going to go around now to tighten all the screws. Look, once I'm going to do that, I'm going to... Remember, there's also these leftover caps. These are where we are going to put it into the holes that we didn't use. You know how this one had a high, lower and a higher mattress space? We're just going to cover up the, um, the holes that we didn't use, okay? So, we're going to get started. So, I'm going to just tighten these screws first. So, the Grow Time Richmond cot is now complete. Um, so, let's have a look at the drop side to see how it works. So, basically, with any drop side, you just lift. It goes down. Back up. Goes up. That's it. 